tutorials by Andrew Buckle. I'm using Illustrator CC 2014, but you could do the same in CS6, CS5, etc. And I'm just going to use the flare tool to create uh, some interesting sort of uh, light, bright light uh, designs using and combining that with symbols. Now, first thing to do, just go over to the flare tool. Now I've got a black background. I think it works really best with black background. So uh, just double click on that to see the various settings. Now the flare tool can be used in thousands of different ways and create some really interesting effects and different combinations of settings can result in quite radically different designs. Now, maybe some people who don't like lots of paths and might not be such a great idea, but certainly if you're willing to experiment. And of course, the thing is, you can always copy this and then back into, say, like Photoshop and use it as a background design for a whole range of sort of like star scenes or whatever. Now, I've set the raised off and I've set the rings off because what I want is just a bright light. So I've just got a interactive diameter so when you when you actually apply it you can change change that you can see the so I'm just going to go for a bright light there and I'm going to go for a sort of like curved design because what I want to do is and you can add it go back over here and add more but sometimes you, what you can do if you add too many there you end up with it so bright that it completely blasts out the scene so I'm just gonna and you can and they're actually modifiable it's near enough like obviously a gradient tool. You can actually see the, the, obviously the gradient thing. It's a similar sort of thing. So, right, you've got this uh, bright lights. And again, like I so say, you can just go over here and maybe add. The thing is also another thing that's really quite nice about the thing is it's that you can actually modify it at any point. So if you've got this one selected, you can go over here, double click, and you can change it after the event. So it's, it's a live effect. So it's really quite nice to just be able to maybe decide to have halo or other effects added or rays added into it. Now, once you've actually done that, you can select all, and what I'm going to do, then I'm just going to drag that into the symbols palette. Can't see the symbols palette, it's just over in the window menu. So, window and symbols. Now, what you can do, of course, got that there. I'm just going to remove that for now, and you can go over to the symbol sprayer tool, and that's over here, symbol sprayer tool, and you can just obviously selecting that make certain you select it and you can actually just apply the symbols so you can create instantaneously a nice interesting background okay I say you can copy that into Photoshop or maybe use it obviously continue to use it in Illustrator now you can also modify the angles and those sort of things you can of course just add them individually so you don't have to do that you can just add that and then hold the alt down hopefully it will duplicate it sometimes it doesn't on my system for some weird reason it seems to decide mind of its own whether it's going to duplicate or not and you can just rotate those around and create some interesting combinations of light shows now another option I'm just going to get rid of those I'm just going to drag that over there and I'm going to resize that slightly don't want it that big just resize and you can go to effects and of course there's all these different effects here but I'm just going to go for the distort and transform so transform option and go set the preview on and you can create some really interesting combinations here just by using modifying say the scale obviously setting number of copies helps so you say copies and you can create sort of like a weird smearing effects and particle effects sort of bursting outwards whole range of different options just for just by changing into <laughs> certain percentage on there again you can of course then use that maybe in an after effects video and so on so on now what I was going to do actually I'm just going to put that back to default one thing that's always weird in Illustrator there's no option just to restore the settings you have to just quickly set that to thousand again now what you can do of course angle and just modify the angle you can get some nice sort of turning effects there and again you can change that obviously make it more smeary sort of effect or spread the whole thing around and of course you can also then modify the move and maybe move that out as well so it spreads outwards the angle and I'm just going to change that and there's an enormous amount of possibilities just by changing the angle as well as move and scale and obviously the combination of these flares right anyway i hope you found also obviously the copies hope you found this video